And today I'm gonna be having some spaghetti with cheese. Some Texas toast. I think it's the five the five cheese Texas toast. And poke chop. Yep, I said it a poke chop. <laughs> I'm like really, really hungry. Oh, and then my drink. Okay, isn't that beautiful? It's just the prettiest drink. It is the three olives fruit punch mixed with fruit punch pop and pineapple pineapple pop and then just well I made the icy you know the thing I told y'all that um, Taylor had that I got Taylor that jelly bean thing with the fruity I think it's the fruity three olives and then the pineapple it's pineapple pop and then I just poured it over the ice and it made it a little slushy. Let's see, but it's melting now. I better drink it before I melt. I drink these little drinks so fast, that's why I don't put that much liquor in there. It's like maybe two shots of liquor in there. Because I drink it so fast, I'll be sitting up here like, hey, I say, you know, it won't be looking good. I ain't that cute when I'm drunk. <sighs> Don't ask me why I was craving spaghetti. I was going to have, I was going to make some mashed potatoes and some corn. But I'm like, no, I want a pork chop. I haven't had a pork chop in a year. I don't really eat pork chops that much. But when I do, I was like, I indulge on them. And then of course I gotta have spaghetti like at least once a week I make spaghetti. And since I eat it so much, it's like I like to switch it up. Of course I put my regular vegetables. Y'all know I like the um the um green peppers and onions and all that and the, and the red peppers, the yellow peppers in there. This time I added all that, but I added some um, some pepperoni to it. And then um, recital wore me out. It was like two days, but it's like when you were dad's mom, it's like you planned for all this, like for months and months, literally. You know them pictures that I showed y'all on Instagram. She had four, four costumes and five dances. It was a dance mom there. Her daughter was in... 14 dances and I think she had to have 12 costumes I couldn't imagine doing that but they were so cute though but next year Taylor said she wants to do she's doing lyrical dance I just put some Valentino on my um, pork chop Next year she wants to do um well she's gonna do her ballet and ballet takes up three days I think and then she wants to do and she does lyrical and that's really just one day a week and she wants to do um musical theater which is going to add another day so I'm going to be going 
for five days a week. She be so tired. Don't. She don't want to do nothing else. So she like to take them classes like during the summer. I mean during the winter. When there's like really nothing going on. So she gets a month off now. And um, last year she went all through the summer. She was like I, that's nothing to do. She basically cried to... She wanted to, to go to dance for the summer and the teacher doesn't provide. She likes to take a month off, but Taylor said, I'm not going to camp because she wanted, she was going to go to camp last year. She was like, no, I don't want to go. I want to go dance. So now that she's older, I kind of tell her like now, you got to kind of cut back on that just a little bit. So you're going to have time for yourself or you're going to regret it. You're going to hate dancing. But of course she don't listen to me. Y'all know I love them, Brad. <clears throat> Next year they're supposed to be doing um, Little Shop of Horrors for Musical Theater. And I'll tell you this t-shirt is just relentless. She just loves Taylor and Taylor loves her. It's just so amazing. She teaches. This year it was 51 dances. And the teacher stands on the side of the stage when no one can see her and does every dance with the kids just in case they forget. She teaching the baby dancers, they're so damn cute. But they're like three and four years old and she's teaching them these dances. And the woman is damn near... 50. And she just keep going. Mm. Taylor loves her so much. It's like her getaway. I was going to eat some. I said I was going to wake up this morning. And I was going to eat breakfast. Because last night, for some reason, when we came in, I was so tired. Did I eat? I ate pizza. Like I ate a couple of slices of pizza. But when I came back from the recital, it was like... We left here at 1.30... I think I got back here at 7 30. <clears throat> Excuse me. I was so tired. I just grabbed, I think I ate two slices of pizza and I went to sleep. Them kids bad as hell. I couldn't imagine. I really have to give it up to taste this with cat. Working in the education field, it's like, I didn't even want to, oh my gosh, and I love kids. Just, 
just not sometimes <laughs> like the little kids and it's really it was only well it's two dance moms that's been there 10 years and they basically was running everything I don't know how they do it bless their heart it was another dance mom that um that helped out it was two more dance moms so it was me two other parents and then the two that's been there for 10 years so it's five of us and she had I mean it had to be close to, to 70 kids because it's 50 dancers yeah it was like 70 kids there I don't know like 50 50 to 70 and they range from age 3 all the way to 13 um well, it's some older kids. I think it's only like two or three older kids that's um, graduating this year. But, you know, and when I was growing up with kids, I would take them, like, if I went somewhere, it's like all the, the older kids watch the younger kids. You can't do that shit nowadays. Some of them just as bad as the motherfucking little kids. One year, one well, last year, I wasn't volunteering them in the back. It was the two dance moms that's been there for ten years. One little girl lied to her dad. I said one of the dance moms. Mind you, she's been doing this for 10 years. Spit on her. So the dad going the back, and I'm sitting out in the audience. And this little girl had been, she had been running back and forth during the whole recital. Me allowed. I was that little girl kept calling her mom, mom. She wouldn't listen. Come back to me later. Mom, mom. Mom was all like, I ain't paying no attention to her. Next thing you know, that little girl came out, mom, come quick. Dad is fighting. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> mm -hmm. that, that don't make no sense one parent <laughs> like this is the only dance teacher I know that that's why I just love her so much she <laughs> she keep it real and she's not mean like that stuff you see on TV I don't know about that because she not like that at all and the parents aren't like that you know so I don't know what kind of reality show that I don't know don't believe that but how the parents is just dealing with kids period being an educator like I couldn't deal with no parents because you get them funky ass parents who just don't think their kid could do any wrong and so one little girl, the teacher was telling her, like, um, I think they had to spin left or something, put their left leg out, something. It was something real simple. And the little girl kept putting her, her right, <laughs> her right leg out. <clears throat> she, she was like, the teacher was like, no, you're right, not your left. So she put out her right. <laughs> and so the teacher was all like, "You're eight. You're two. You know which hand are you right with?" And she showed her her right hand. When she was first, she was confused. She was like, "She, <laughs> she ain't know." So then she, I guess she had to think about it. And then she held up her right hand, and the teacher said, "That's your right side." 
so that's the one you write with it's to your right you know she's trying to explain it to her and the little girl got mad and started crying and I get it it's embarrassing but it was a lot of girls there who didn't who didn't know and the teacher is trying to teach them and uh, she ran to her mama her mom was all like, oh, bitch. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, yeah. So, that's why she allows the parents to sit in there. She said, I'm not going to have anybody saying I did that kid wrong. Right is right and wrong is wrong. So, and she don't have a problem with it. So, every parent can sit in their car. kids are just something else, <coughs> something else. But the the baby dancers, oh they're so cute at that age. Yeah they was active. Okay, my grandma would say like active mean bad. I'd be like them kids bad. They was just so cute. They just wanted to give out hugs. Like all the time. One little girl she has to be like five years old. I don't even know if she was five. Maybe six. But she was all like Dance mom, I'm scared. I'm so nervous. <laughs> she was just so cute. And I was like, why are you nervous? You're going to do just fine. You do this with every day. And she was like, I know. I know, but I can't help it. And then when she get done with the dance, she would run up to me, hug me, and was all like, I wasn't even nervous. <laughs> I was like, okay, I guess. <laughs> It was so cute. And the other one. Mm. Oh my gosh. The 10 year olds. The 8 year olds. Uh. <clears throat> Taylor is 11. And she's just fit for dance. Javante and Devonta, y'all seen them in previous videos. They're twins, and they're 21. Are they 21? Yeah. Nico, you seen him in my first Taco Bell video. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, he just turned 19. It's another one. Robert. I got a lot of kids, y'all. Robert is Y'all see how fast I drunk up? That's why I ain't add that much liquor to it. <clears throat> you know what that would be good with? That fruit punch, three hours would be good with the um. Remember I had did that um I was drinking the Seagram's cooler. The Kool-Aid. Might as well be Kool-Aid. Anyway. The blue one. I forgot what the blue one is because it's called. I think it's called Bahama Mama. It would be good with that one. Yeah, you mix that, the fruit punch with that. And then add the pineapple. Yeah, that would be so good. I think I'm going to try that. I'm going to leave the, the um, the recipe for that down below in the description box. Mm. 
can't do it i can't do it the girls i could deal with boys the girls and mm. girls are something else i ain't trying to be nobody's grandma and i ain't trying to take care of no sick kids i ain't got time for it And I told them, don't be, I be saying the girls that they be messing with. And I'm going tell them, you ain't bringing home no puppy monkey baby into my house. Mm -mm. I'm so glad I ain't got no grandkids. Damn. Them kids gonna be jacked up. And then why is it that boys don't want to freaking leave? Let me tell you what the wife told me. It was all like mine. I don't know what the point of getting a place is. Because when I get one, I ain't going to do nothing but get dressed, go to work, come over to your house, eat lunch. Go to work, come home over my house, eat dinner, go home and go to sleep. Wake up in the morning, come over my house for breakfast, <laughs> and do the same thing every day. He was like, I don't even know what's the point of me getting my own voice. Not him. Well, I, mean, I think that's just because of my illness. Like he's scared that if he go off and live his life, something gonna happen. And I don't want them to fear life or death like that. Javata, he just really came back home. I don't even want to be. He like I ain't got time. He kind of stayed to himself because he's kind of like an extrovert. He's kind of like me. Like I just. Like, after I've been to that recital, I need time to recover. Like, I need to get my, my shit together. I need to be alone for me to recharge. And, um, Nico, he's kind of like that, too. Like, he don't like to be around people like that. He ain't the party kind of. He's 19. He ain't the party. And Robert. Bob. I'm calling Bob. He kinda he gotta be he's the life of the party. He just he gotta be around people to charge to to get that energy. Go figure. I need to recall that. And Taylor, she she got to be gone all the time. She got to be doing something with somebody. She got to be active, moving around all the time. She so coming here talking about they got a stalker. I remember, like, as they was growing up, they really got, like, into girls. I mean, kind of like, I knew about it, but 
it really didn't start like affecting them until like around the time, maybe 14. So then that's when all the little girls and stuff started coming. Oh my gosh. And I'll tell you something like a lot of people, <coughs> they say the car here in Dearborn is a lot of mid Middle Eastern. But it's just not that. Like, it's a mixture of people. Yes, it's a lot of um, Arabics. But it's a mixture of people. And they're born. And how we raise our kids is different. But it's similar in some, some ways. <coughs> Excuse me. I think white people are more... <coughs> They're more relaxed with letting their kids grow up. So it's kind of like, you know, you can travel. These kids, I didn't see some of their friends. Their mom's like, I'm gone for, um, I'm gone for a month to Florida. Um, like Nico friend Rami. I don't know if I told y'all. I think I did tell y'all about him. He when his sister fell out the car. His mama was driving. And his sister fell out the car. And he looked back and she was standing in the middle of the street looking at him white. <laughs> I don't know how the little girl. They said she was asleep. And her mama didn't know she fell out the car. She was asleep and her mama... I guess she leaned against the door okay, open and she fell out she woke up in the middle of the street thank god nobody hit that little girl uh, Ronnie said he looked back and she was just standing there like they had to turn around and go back and get her but his mama is in um, Saudi Arabia she, uh, she took the little kids with her like the older kids the older kids like well Rami just I think he just turned 18 so but she left everybody behind it's like I got time for y'all shit she took the littlest kids and um she gone black mamas we go to the stove we gotta pack all the kids up in the damn car Y'all can tell me that the difference, it is a difference. I have experienced it. It is a difference. And how kids talk to their parents is different. Like, you got some, some mamas who smack the shit out of their kids. Like, like me. You fuck up, I'm going to fuck you up where you fucked up at. <laughs> I ain't got time to wait till I get home. Mm-mm. And some parents I like that but I think more what I didn't see was like I remember one of my friends I'm not going to say her name <laughs> she had um, came over my house and she was like Tay I'm not going to say the little girl name either let's call her Sarah she was like Sarah told me to go fuck myself <laughs> I said, so you here because you need me to help you hide the body, right? Like, we go going to bury your ass. Like, where, where we got to go? It's like, oh, no, no. You can't. You can't chastise Sarah. No, it just doesn't work with her. I said, I ain't say shit about chastise. Now, I said, beat the hell out of her. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's a different. She was like, oh, Tay, you're so crazy. Mm-mm. -uh. It's different. It is different. So it, it's a. I could tell the difference. <laughs> yes, definitely. But I mean, it, it's like we all get along. You know, they know that. Like I know what my friends. It's uh, the way we was raised was different. You know, and I'll be the one to joke about it. Mm. I 
kind of sucked all the juice up out of here. It's so good, though. Oh. Appreciate everybody telling me how young I look compared to how old I am, you know. But I went to the dentist, and I don't know what made the dentist not look at my age, but I'm tongue tied. So she was like, Have you, I forgot what they call it when it's the connection down there up under your tongue. <clears throat> And she said, you know, since I go out and split this tooth, like I done push this tooth over here and this one over here because, uh, you know, how big my tongue is and I talk with my tongue. Because I'm tongue tied. I can't lift it up. I can't stay. Uh, that was the most I could do. So, after damn near, I'll be 40 years old, she asked me, did I want to get that cut up under there? 